Hello, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a Bronze Age Indo-European man from Ireland belonging to the Bell Beaker culture. Uh, his Y DNAs are 1B, which is nowadays very typical for Western Europeans. And this is what he looked like with my national code. He is predicted to have blue eyes, uh, Greek-shaped nose and blonde hair. Greek-shaped nose meaning kind of a long, aquiline, narrow nose shape. Uh, rather than snub-shaped nose, which would be sort of a upturned and uh, kind of wide, upturned, short nose, right, with a, a kind of an indented uh, indented nose bridge. But he's got Greek-shaped nose, and Wysak is predicting him to have blue eyes and blonde hair, but Wysak prediction is uh, absolute garbage. We don't really want to pay attention to this. With Snipper Free, he's predicted to have blue eyes, blonde hair, and white skin. He's got BEH3, which is blue eye haplotype 3. He's technically not genotyped for BEH2 and BEH1 and BEH4, so we can't know this for sure that he doesn't have BH2 and B that he does have BH2 and BH1 and that he doesn't have BH4. But we can pretty much assume that this is his genotype because if you have BH3, that means you also have BH2 and BH1, and if you have BH2, that means you also don't have BH4. So we pretty much know the entirety of his genotype just by looking at his genotype in BH3 blue eye haplotype 3. Uh, it's really setting everything straight for us. He's got a genotype for lighter eyes and higher odds of green eyes relative to blue eyes with amber center based on his genotype in SLC 24A4. He does not have the European hunter gatherer blue eyes and ginger hair uh, mutation in IRF4. And um, based on some of his genotypes in OCA2, we can pretty much make the assumption that he has BH1 and BH2. But, uh, you know, this assumption, we already knew that due to his genotype in BH3, which he was actually genotyped for in the file. Now let's move on to his GED match results. Typically you see traits and, uh, you know, uh, monogenic traits after you see uh, the appearance, but this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to move into GED match first and then we're going to talk about traits. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. You can see he's scoring mostly North Atlantic, very little Southern components, and actually 5.5% South Asian, uh, which is kind of crazy. And you will see this with G25 for this individual as well. Uh, there is a lot of similarity between the Eurogenes K13 and G25 results for this individual. With the Oracle, uh, getting modeled as a mixture of Norwegian plus various South uh, South Asians, Norwegian plus Austroasiatic or Norwegian plus North Kanadi or Uttar Pradesh, basically a mixture of Norwegian plus some kind of South Indian. And this is what he scores with MDLP K11. Uh, what's crazy is that in the previous calculator, he wasn't scoring a lot of West Asian. He was only scoring like 0.9% West Asian. But here he's actually scoring 25% EHG, which is, a C which is really meant to represent Caucasus or kind of West Asian ancestry. So he does have a lot of uh, West Asian and Caucasus affinities. With the Oracle here, he is closest to uh, Iron Age Nordic, followed by Unities, followed by Corded Wear. That's because of the high amount of... Um, West Asian and CHG admixture. And with the G25, we see sort of the same similarity between this individual and Norwegians, Icelandic, Danish, and you can see with the Oracle, he's actually getting one of those mixture of Icelandic plus Norwegian plus Jat plus Kalash. So there is this South Asian admixture that you can see not only with uh, Eurogenes K13, you can also see this South Asian admixture with G25. When looking at his results with PON DNA L calculators, as well as Harappa World, as well as MDLP, as well as pretty much every calculator there is, you can see that this individual is very Caucasus, a very West Asian shifted, which actually does sort of contrast with the Eurogenes K13 result where he was only scoring 0.9% West Asian. Uh, he's actually got 26.19% Caucasus Hunter Gatherer admixture with PON DNA L K12, which is higher than any Northern European is supposed to get. This is more like in line with maybe Eastern Europeans, especially Mardvins, who he is closest to with the Oracle, but this is not a typical score for uh, a Western European at all. Like so much Caucasus Hunter Gather admixture is not typical for Western Europeans. Uh, with the Oracle, he's actually getting one of a mixture of Belarusian plus Baloch or Estonian plus Baloch. So he's even more uh, Caucasus shifted than what's typical for Belarusians. Uh, very Caucasus shifted result, uh, very heavily Indo-European result is what it is. This is what he's scoring with PAN-DNA LK10 ancient here. There is a little bit less CHG. This is a little bit more in line with what's typical for Eastern Europeans. But once again, this is in line what's typical with Eastern Europeans, not Western Europeans. This looks like an Eastern European result. And with the Oracle, 
uh, getting more of the mixture of Estonian plus Brahvi, Estonian plus Makrani, Estonian plus Kalash. Uh, basically a mixture of Northeast Europeans plus some kind of West Asian groups. This is what he scores with Harappa World. As you can see, he's scoring almost 15% Baloch. That's crazy. Um, there are some Northwest Europeans today who can score similar to this, who can score maybe 10 or 12% Baloch. But 15% Baloch would be definitely an outlier uh, result for any Western European today. Actually, East Europeans tend to score more Caucasian and less Baloch with this calculator. Interesting. Uh, very, very interesting dynamic that I've observed with the Oracle closest to Orcadians, followed by Utah Whites. Uh, and actually getting more of a mixture of Orcadian plus various South Central Asian groups such as Borusho, Tajik, Kalash, Patan, uh, Jat. And uh, you can see this individual definitely has some affinities to um, West Asian and Caucasus groups. And this is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Uh, with the Oracle here, actually getting more of a mixture of Spanish plus Eastern Hunter Gatherer or Hungarians plus various ancient North Eurasians or Hungarians plus Eastern Hunter Gatherers. So he's a little bit Eastern Hunter Gatherer shift that is what we're getting relative to the Central and Southern Europeans. Uh, with Kidrosia K3, K3, this is what he scores. Uh, you can see a very uh, West Eurasian result, very modern result. However, there is a little bit of an affinity towards East Eurasians, and that is due to the um, East Eurasian admixture, Tian Yuan admixture in ancient North Eurasian, which this individual does descend from. Now we will be moving on to the final part of the video, which is discussing his traits. And let's begin this. Uh, I am using my website, which you can find from the link that is in my channel's description. And this is the website that I'm using for traits from this point on. Uh, this is the tool that I made, coded it in JavaScript. That. Um, looks for certain variations. Okay, so OXTR, the amplify gene. He's got CC genotype in this variation of OXTR, which is increased with higher OXTR expression and higher levels of empathy. AA genotype in this variation of OXTR, which means the individual has two variants for higher OXTR expression and increased empathy. So this individual has more empathy than typical. Let's move on to diabetes. GG in this variation, which leads to lower risk of various autoimmune disorders and type 1 diabetes. CC here, which leads to a sevenfold decrease in the risk of type 1 diabetes. Okay, uh, definitely not diabetic. Uh, definitely doesn't have type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is sort of when you're born with uh, inability to produce something. It's, it's, I don't want to say something and be inaccurate but type 2 diabetes is basically very different that's insulin resistance your body doesn't respond to insulin uh, because you've been because you've been eating too much too much junk food that contains a lot of sugar your body has become uh, unresponsive to insulin that's type 2 diabetes and he's got CC genotype here, which means the individual has two variants for higher odds of type 2 diabetes okay hemochromatosis uh, doesn't have any hemochromatosis variants which is interesting because hemochromatosis is nowadays most typical in Ireland and Scotland. For Alzheimer's, uh, no risk alleles for Alzheimer's in this APOE variation. Typical genotype for most humans and leads to slightly increased risk of Alzheimer's. Okay. Uh, no APOE2 alleles in this variation. So probably does not probably did not have Alzheimer's. For myopia. This stuff he wasn't genotyped for, and this one, the first one, is kind of the main variant. That's a uh, main variation that's most important. You really want to pay attention to this one, but he is not genotyped for this. And for the last variation, TC here, which means increased risk of myopia. So that's that's it. That's pretty much all there is to this individual. You can download his genome in 23andMe format from link, which is in the description of the video. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Goodbye.